the reach of this robot is 3.9 meters. And it's on a rail or a track that also spans 3.7 meters. The robot by itself is very versatile, so the robotic arm can be attached to any head for like various applications that are relevant for the construction industry. The actual printing area that we could cover is probably about 8 feet by 30 feet, which is a very large area to be able to print in one structure without a mold. Currently, we're going to be set up to do research with 3D cementitious printing. Because I work on concrete, I am most excited about the head that can be attached to the printer for layer by pr layer printing of concrete. In my research group, our goal is to reduce the carbon footprint associated with the use of construction materials. We are trying to understand the role automation along with sustainable practices can play in our attempt to rebuild our infrastructure. So what we are trying to do, can we use the 3D printing to make this more efficient, less cost, uh, more automated, so it can be quicker, so we reduce the time and cost of construction. We can integrate it into different courses to help with, say, manufacturing engineering, uh, assembly, we could attach a welding head to it, which is a different process, and test them right there in the Beauvais lab.